Hello everyone and welcome to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host Rob Bentley and thanks for tuning in. We have a busy show today. We'll recap a big weekend for Ferris State hockey. We'll also talk Bulldog football and Ferris State softball. First up, head coach Bob Daniels and coach, uh, welcome, congratulations. Uh, Bulldogs win the Midwest Regional uh, this past weekend and moving on to the Frozen Four. Yeah, how about that? Huh? We were talking before we got on the air here about how different one week makes, you know, and, and we went from really a, a difficult loss in the playoffs to uh, what, you know, really could be, say, the, maybe the highest point we've ever had in the Fair State Hockey Program, and it was certainly a terrific and fun weekend for all of us. Has it really uh, sunk in yet how historic this is and maybe how uh, special this is for both the community and the university? You know, it's starting to sink in. It really is. I, I, I you know, it's probably really going to sink in come June, you know, when I can sit back and really relax and, and, uh, and maybe take a moment. Or, or, you know, we have our year-end banquet scheduled, I believe it's for Saturday, April 14th. And I think that's going to be quite a celebration and, and really looking forward to it. But it's all tempered right now with one thing, and, and that is, you know, the fact that we, we have an opportunity to still do something really special. And it, as happy as we are, we are about what we've achieved, we're going to take a day or two and kind of bask in the, in the glow of it, but then we need to turn our attention to the job at hand, and that, you know that's coming up in, in about 10 days. Let's recap this past weekend. Uh, you go to Green Bay, Wisconsin at the Rush Center, uh, opened regional action on Friday night in a, a big 2-1 to one win over Denver, just the second ever NCAA tournament win for the Bulldogs. Isn't that, yeah, it's our, our second trip, and you know, we played a, really a, a very good Denver hockey team, and, and uh, they're, they're all good at this point when you get down to the 16, and, and so there's no easy draws, but Denver presented a lot of problems to us. Uh, from the standpoint that they've got a lot of high-end scorers. I mean, guys that are really nationally known as, as, as being guys that can put the puck in the net. And um, Zucker, we caught a little bit of a break. Their, their big scorer, Zucker, although he played and he played very well, uh, he had hurt his arm, and I think, you know, to some extent, it, it, it sounds like it may have handicapped him, although when I watched him, it didn't look like it handicapped him. And then you've got the Shore brothers, they're, they're excellent. And so I give our, our players a ton of credit. I mean, they really, they followed the game plan to a T. They didn't show any nerves. And then obviously, Taylor Nelson, when called upon, made some great, great saves. And, uh, you yeah, know, we'll see in the highlights here. There wasn't a lot of goal scoring, and that's our style of play is to play defensive. And although I think we can score goals, when you get to games of this importance, generally good, strong defense is the name of the game. You strike first uh, with a goal from Jordy Johnston, and then uh, Simone Denis with the, the game winner and a great time uh, for his first collegiate goal. Yeah, we're seeing this goal right here. He steps in, he, he joined the rush, and. Uh, and Eric Alexander did a terrific job of fighting him in the slot. And Simone's played very well for us the entire second half of the year. He is really uh, starting to come on after uh, being hampered by an injury uh, in the first half. But I think down the road, that's a name you're going to hear more and more about uh, as he moves into his sophomore and junior years. Bulldogs uh, gave up a goal uh, in the third, but a uh, great job defensively uh, by Taylor Nelson in net and the guys in front of him. It sure was a great job. and, and, and uh, I. You know, I can't say enough. There was a, a segment in that game, I think, right around the six-minute mark of the third period. We had a one-goal lead, and the puck didn't leave our end for two solid minutes. And within the time, they may have only had one really good chance, and Taylor was equal to the task, made a great save. But I give the players that were stuck on the ice that were dead tired high marks for defending our net during that really a tough two-minute stretch. You come back Saturday night facing Cornell in the, the regional uh, championship game, and they were an upset winner over Michigan on, on the opening night. Uh, talk about coming into the Cornell game and what you expected out of them. Well, sure, and, and you know, they were an upset winner over Michigan. They were the one seed. Uh, I think Cornell was the four seed. But, you know, when you go in there, there really are no upsets. I mean, any of the 16 teams can win. I mean, it's, it's not like other sports. I mean, if you look at NCAA basketball, though, you know, uh, 16, uh, you know, a team in the tournament versus a one. Uh, team, it's not that much of a difference, you know, it would be between the first team and the, and the 16th team that's in there, and it's not in hockey either, and Cornell's a very good hockey team, they're unbelievably good defensively, um, very similar game plan to ours, we get to the objectives a little differently, we push the puck and we pursue it more than they do, but we're both two teams that are based strongly on defense, and uh, it's no surprise to me that it was a one goal game, and that um, uh, uh, it was only a two to one final score. Bulldogs uh, and Cornell uh, tied up after two periods of play, both scoreless, and then a, a 
big uh, opportunity early in the third as you started on the power play and you were able to score 11 seconds in. Yeah, and I think you know, they were seeing it right here. Jordy Johnson takes it strong to the net, and uh, and uh, Garrett Thompson really had a wide open net to shoot it in, but it was a good strong play by by Jordy that that set that up and. Um, we knew, I mean, 0-0 going into the third, I kind of figured maybe the team that scored first would, would end up winning the game. But you do see Cornell here coming back later in the, uh, in the third period uh, to score the, the tying goal. And, and you know, it, it, uh, it was going to be a nail-biter right to the end. Fortunately, uh, the Bulldogs got a, another big goal from Jordy Johnson off a great uh, feed from Andy Huff, and I know we'll, we'll see that action uh, coming up here right soon. Yeah, and, and it's an interesting part about the goal that uh, is scored right here is Andy Huff came out of the penalty box. We had just completed killing a five-minute uh, penalty, and wow, what a great job our penalty killers did it, and Taylor Nelson net. Andy Huff was in the box serving that penalty, and when he came out, the puck found him, and he went in two-on-one with uh, Jordy, and a great feed to Jordy, and a goal I'll never forget. I, you know, there's a lot of goals, you, you remember certain ones, but this is one goal I promise I'll never forget, and what great patience by Jordy Johnson to hold onto the puck and, and, and score the game winner. Great weekend uh, for the Bulldogs, capped uh, finally by the welcome home rally on Sunday, and uh, a great group of fans and supporters on hand to greet the Bulldogs uh, when they return from Green Bay. Highly emotional, that's all I can say, Rob. When we came in and, and, and to see the police escort we got from, from the highway, uh, you know, across the county line, they picked us up at and, and followed us right in. And then there was some fire trucks involved. And you can see here on the video, there's a football team. And we're so thankful. A lot of the student athletes from the other sports, football, volleyball, and a variety of other sports came out to support the, 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 the players. And I can't tell you how much this meant to our players that see this. And, I'm so appreciative, and I remember back to 0203, if I can, and we lost in the regional final to Minnesota, at Minnesota, and we had a very similar reception, and I know our guys don't know it, but I'm thinking, what a wonderful town, what a wonderful university and campus community that, win or lose, it, this kind of reception was waiting, and it was much better when we won obviously than when we lost, but I, I couldn't help but flash back and think about, hey, th these people are terrific. Win or lose, they're here, and, and what a wonderful experience for our players. Bulldogs obviously uh, have about a week and a half off here before you uh, play in the national semifinals against Union on April 5th, and uh, talk about the, the Frozen Four and the opportunity for the Bulldogs to participate in that. Well, we're thrilled to be there, and, and I know as we get closer and, and we start putting our game plan together and we're going to direct our attention, that that'll, it'll become a very business-like approach to it. We're excited about going to Tampa. I want our players just as we, we did when we went to Green Bay, first and foremost, to enjoy the experience and appreciate it. It doesn't come around very often. Um, we're going to look forward to going out there representing Ferris State University in the best possible light. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll enjoy the, uh, you know, we'll get there a day ahead of time uh, and we'll enjoy a, a little bit of that time practice and let the kids have some fun. And then by the time we hit Thursday and get ready to play Union, though, it'll be business as usual and we'll just take it as one game and then. You know, the key is just to, to have all the focus on one thing, and that would be uh, winning that game. Coach, uh, congratulations again. Uh, the Bulldogs in the Frozen Four, and we'll have a chance to, to preview the Union game a little bit more next week. That sounds great. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.